comes to putting together a great outfit, what goes on underneath your clothing is actually some of the most important stuff. So in today's video, I want to go over some underwear secrets that every woman needs to know. These are really helpful. They're going to guide you in finding your perfect size in your bra, all the way down to creating the exact silhouette that you're looking for, getting your clothing to tuck perfectly, and creating a really seamless finish. So let's get started. Let's start off with how to find your perfect bra size. And this is a really helpful piece of information to have because an improper fitting bra can be really uncomfortable and it's not going to give you the silhouette that you want. And I find that a lot of people are actually wearing the wrong bra size. So in college, I was a bra fit specialist and I was trained in how to properly size for a bra. And that information has been invaluable and it's very, very easy to do on your own. So you're going to need a flexible tape measure and you're going to take two measurements. So the first is your under bust and this is going to indicate your band size the first number when you look at a traditional bra size, so like a 32C. So in order to get that first number, you take the flexible tape measure and you measure underneath your bust and lay it as flat as possible and as close to your rib cage as you can get it. And you take note of that, maybe jot it down somewhere. Then you're gonna take the tape measure and lift it ever so slightly, and this is gonna indicate your cup size. You wanna make sure that it's laying flat across the uh, widest part of your bust, and then note that number, and that indicates your cup size. So from there, it's really easy to calculate. You take your band measurement, so let's say 32, and then to indicate your cup size, you just count up from the numbers starting with 32. And then from there, you can try on a couple and see what's gonna fit the best because it can, it can vary based on the cup style and the overall construction of the bra. So it's always important to start there, but then have some flexibility in what you try on to find your perfect fit. Now let's say you take your band measurement and you're not a 32 or a 34 or 35, but you're actually a lot less. That's the case for me. And I find also representative of a lot of smaller framed or petite people. When I take my under bust, it's between 25 and 26. And in that case, you would just go to a 32. When you look at a traditional bra and specifically those within traditional US and European sizing, your band measurement on a 32 actually accommodates a 24 or 25 inch under bust. And you can see on the back of the bra, there are three or four clasps and the tightest one is gonna give you that secure fit between 24 and 26 inches. Now, since your band size or your under bust measurement definitely indicates the overall cup size and the cup coverage, sometimes it can give you a fit that's not exactly what you're looking for. And in that case, if you do wanna go for for your exact size and find a 26 inch band. Those do exist, they're just harder to find and they're almost exclusively online, but they're out there. So I'm gonna link some resources down below for you. Let's quickly go over how a bra is actually supposed to fit and the actual function of how it's designed. I think there's a very common misconception that the support of a bra is coming from the straps or the cups and it's actually not true. Your support is coming from the under bust or your band. That's why it's so important that you get that measurement as exact as possible and you find something that's really secure it doesn't ride up when you move or you lift your arms but it's also really comfortable and that's why getting your measurement and then trying a few is going to make a really big difference it's kind of like jeans you may know kind of the style that you want or kind of the size that you typically go for but it's not until you actually try on a couple pairs or a lot of pairs that you find your perfect pair so now let's go over how to achieve an invisible look or have no-show items, no-show bras, no-show panties, and create a really seamless base that you can't see underneath white clothing. And this is something that I think a lot of us don't really realize, and that's that if you wear white under white, it becomes more obvious. And to work around that, you actually want to go for something as close to your skin tone as possible. And I know me personally, I find this to be a little bit tricky. My skin tone is a little bit hard to match in conventional bras. So in order to work around this, I actually go to a bra department and I will hold my arm up to different bras in order to find a color that's as close as possible. And I also find that since this part doesn't really see the sun ever, going for the under part of my arm gives me a really, really close match. And I'm able to find something that's close enough, if not perfect. In order to get that seamless finish and create something that's truly invisible, you're gonna wanna look for a couple things. The first is a really smooth color up. So when you're looking at the bra, you shouldn't be able to see any buckling or any kind of like bunching anywhere. 
and that's going to allow for a really uh, soft lay when you're actually wearing it. Also finding something in a really thin material can give you this effect as well. And then the other thing that's really important is when it comes to the band, you're going to want to go wider rather than smaller. It doesn't matter um, if this is something you're worried about every day. When you are putting on a bra, it instantly compresses things because this is actually breast tissue. And I think a lot of us associate it just with the front, but it actually continues all the way in the back. So getting a wider band that kind of forces everything into place the way that you want to can give you a really, really smooth finish. Now these very same principles can apply to underwear as well, and getting a color that's really, really close to your skin tone is the best place to start. And then from there, you're going to want to keep things like lace and detailing to a minimum. They look so beautiful, but when actually practically wearing those things underneath clothing, they can kind of show up depending on the material and the color. So keeping it as boring as possible is going to be your best bet if you want a smooth finish and a seamless look and something that's invisible. And then also what I really like here is if you are wearing maybe a pair of pants or a skirt and it's in a lighter color and you're a little bit worried about it being transparent, you can work around that by going for shapewear. Things that are a little bit higher waisted, they're a little bit stretchy and flexible and they have a little bit of a longer leg. So maybe like kind of like a tiny little short. And this is going to not only give you coverage, but also protect you from feeling too exposed and it's a trick that I've used for many years and it makes a really big difference. Another thing that I really love about this in particular is you can use this even under pants in order to get a really smooth tuck. So if you're wearing a top and you want it to lay perfectly flat, put on a pair of shapewear, tuck your shirt into it, smooth it all out perfectly, and then pull your skirt or your pants up and everything is going to lay perfectly. Now I also want to quickly mention that you can definitely go for things in lace and different colors. Just be mindful about that being visible underneath your clothing if it's not your intention. And if you want it to be visible, going for something like beautiful lace and delicate details like that and then wearing that underneath a semi sheer top can be so beautiful and likewise if you go for maybe a bralette style you can wear like a beautiful silk top unbutton a few buttons and have the bralette show and that acts almost like a camisole and creates a really really beautiful finish and some really fun styling now let's talk about what you should look for if you want to wear something that's strapless and you don't want your bra to show so you've got a couple options here if you're working with a wider neckline maybe like the top that I have today you can usually wear just a conventional bra and just kind of push the the straps a little bit that's what I do and it tends to work perfectly fine but if you are worried about them shifting and becoming visible and you don't want that you can put a little bit of double-sided tape and then secure it and it should stay in place throughout the rest of the day but if you really don't want that or you're wearing a strapless top going for a strapless bra is definitely the best bet now if you have a larger bust this can be a little bit tricky because you're not getting the double support from the band and then the straps but like I mentioned since most of your support comes from your band, you can work around this a little bit by going for a bra that has a band that fits you perfectly, something that's a little bit wider, so even something that continues a little bit lower and has some ribbing there, that can give you a lot of added support, and looking for something that has tiny bits of silicone added in underneath where the cup is or along the band. That's going to make sure things lay nice and tight and give you added benefits and support there. Now if you have a smaller bust or you just don't want to wear a traditional strapless bra, they do have sticky bras, and these I find to be good and also not that great. It can be great in environments that aren't that humid, but when it's very, very hot, they can be very uncomfortable to wear. And then again, if you do have a larger bust, they tend to not work that great. But if you have a smaller bust or you're just not worried about that, getting the little covers is a really great workaround, and it's very easy. You literally just put them on and they stay put. But then also, if you do want a little bit of added support, or you want to shift things into a slightly different silhouette, you can find sticky bras that have a little clasp in the middle, and that gives you more flexibility to actually shape things into place. But then of course, the option always exists to just not wear a bra, and if you don't want to, just skip it. Don't worry about it at all. So to close out this video, I want to quickly mention that all of this is personal and very subjective, and you should always be striving for things that feel really comfortable when you wear them. And if that means going for
prefer a bra with no underwire, definitely do that. Those exist now and I find them to be really supportive and the silhouettes are great. So they give you a really beautiful seamless finish and they're a little bit more comfortable. And if that means not wearing a bra at all, that is always a valid option as well. And just experimenting and making sure that you're choosing something that's giving you the effect that you want. So if you want invisible and seamless, that's a totally different camp than if you want something that is visible. And customizing this to you is the most important when it comes to personal style and fashion. And the utilitarian feeling of underwear can be a little bit limiting sometimes, and it should really come down to expression. So definitely let me know in the comments down below if there's anything that I didn't cover in this video that you would like some help with, because maybe I can make a second part or try to respond in the comments. And then like always, thank you of course for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day.